Hello everyone, it is I, Zed Killer, back again with another video. And today we're going to be doing 31 people having a worse day than you. Now, I like to look at these or watch these when I'm having such a terrible day. And usually, usually some of them are actually worse than my day. And they help me a lot and they make me feel a lot better than the day I'm having. But some of them are, some of them are just absolutely stupid and I don't understand. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And yeah, we're going to check this out and see if they're worse than my day or your day. Okay, so for the first one, this one is called the It Wasn't Me. Parents know that puppy dog face all too well. There's a good chance that that little tyke blamed this mess on the dolls because she would never do that. Yeah, if I came into my house and it was a long day at work, oh my God, little Becky, little Becky, what you do? What you do? It wasn't me, ma, it was the dolls, the dolls. No, I just can't. No. Let's go to the next one. The toothpaste painting. This mother kindly asked her kids to not make a mess. Not make a mess. Not to make it, but to not make a mess. And because she just cleaned the mirror. But of course, they heard, make sure you use the toothpaste and finger paint the bathroom. Okay, well, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to tell you because that doesn't even look like finger painted. That looks like someone took a bunch of Too Faced, gurgled it up in their mouth, and then just spit it out. That's really, really gross. Like, and that doesn't bug me too much because you can just wash that off with um, water or paper towels or whatever. So not too bad. So the first two, I mean, the first one was pretty bad. We're going to read it on a, one, a scale of 1 to 10. The first one, which was in this one, we're going to read it. This is a pretty 7. I mean, the, I could clean this up. This, this is a 5. It's nothing. Okay, the bad luck curse. So this one, from what I see, it's a mirror. She probably just got up and looked at her damn self and the mirror went <sighs> Yep. But let's see what the caption says. So the caption says, the bad luck curse. Not the best start to your morning. But at least this lady opened the window and the, let the bad luck blow over. I don't understand. This is pretty terrible. Like if I woke up, my mirror just broke. I would be kind of freaked out, honestly. So that was kind of a seven. Okay, the Manny mess up. Uh, well, her manicure is not done and her fingers are way wrinkly. So that already, made it, already makes me feel a lot better because my fingers aren't so wrinkly. Well, maybe they are. They're not wrinkly when I do them like this. So next time it may be the best to push home renovation chores off to the following day so you can at least enjoy a fresh coat of polish for 24 hours or maybe spray paint is the new shock. So I don't understand is, I don't understand. It looks like they put some manicure on, nail polish on, sorry. And it just went bad because they were doing stuff. I, no, this one is like a zero because it makes all sense. But, but this happens to me when I put my mascara on and I hate it. Okay, so this one is called the wind down. So it looks like, oh my gosh, this is, this must be like expensive wine because if that fell and it broke, all those like 80s and 60s and 70s wine it's damn that sucks but i'm not a drinker myself so i can care less for this one so we're gonna go with a three for this one it's not that bad um the mother's day move in this one it says eventually they'll grow up and get their own place but then move back happy mother's day love ya erin oh this is terrible uh the moment when you think you're an empty nester but then your child returns home this 27 year old announced on a mother's day that he's moving back in with his mom you may miss your kids but be careful what you wish for that's right mom be careful the rookie mistake q ranch dressing loves about lovers crying in disappointment across the globe and the player dropped not one but two tubs of ranch and buffalo sauce if only we could add some chicken wings and turn this wreck into a winding a wing ding um yeah, that's awful. You'd be fired right on the spot. And I would be fired too if I did that. But this is pretty terrible, especially if it happened at work. I would be so embarrassed, so, so embarrassed. This is like a, this is like an eight for me. This is embarrassing. And then I don't have to clean it, clean it up in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. The wedding wine mold. Sure, a healthy glass of wine is fabulous when it's your big day. However, when busting and move on the dance floor, it's wise to leave the wine to the side. This is the face of a groom who made the poor decision to bring his vino with him, which resulted in spilling it on his 
bride's wedding dress. Oh my god. If I was getting married and my hubby spilled wine all over me, whoop, that would be the end of the relationship. Bye bye. Boy, bye. Okay, this one is called the waterfall. The moment when your weekend plans change from relaxing in the pool to hanging by the swamp. At least this would be, be a prime slip and slide tearing for the kids. Oh my god, that would suck. Like you're all having, imagine you're having like 20 to 50 guests coming over just to go swimming and you guys are having like a pool party and this happens. This will totally ruin it. This will be terrible. This will be disgusting and terrible. <laughs> This is a bad day. This is probably like a seven for me. Seven, eight. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm just looking at it. Poor kid. Okay, that Santa does not even look legitimate at all. Like, I understand maybe Santa is not real, but sorry to break it to you kids. He's not real. Uh, the scary Santa Claus. The next time you think you're having a curdy day, just think of every little kid that's forced to sit on a stranger's lap when they're downright horrified. That would totally suck. Like, to pay so much money to have your child take a picture with Santa Claus, Santa Claus, um, and then they just do this. Oh my gosh, I couldn't. But this isn't too bad for me. This is like a three. Next, the have a nice trip. So I think what they meant is like when you trip in front of everyone in school kind of thing. That's embarrassing. Like, you don't know me. But being horizontal while airborne can't be good if we had to take a guess we would say that this is an instagram photo shoot gone wrong and maybe not maybe she's trying to he or she's trying to do something real cool and it's obviously she because look at that ass Ooh. Ooh. okay next okay guys so this is called the protein shake and so it looks like this person was a little bit too excited about pre-gym protein shake and forgot to secure the lid classic at least cleaning the sink is an arm workout so who needs the gym right like you could just clean all this up i don't like my protein shakes but this looks disgusting i wouldn't even want to this is, it looks like straight up throw up i wouldn't even come to the sink dishes you do them by yourself do them by yourself all right this is called the not so handy man okay okay what is going on here i like this this is really cool this is really awesome so this is this tech Pro got this bar before he realized that you can't load a Blu-ray disc into a player when it's mounted vertically. Oh shit. <laughs> a friendly reminder to always keep that user manual handy. That really sucks. Yeah. He should have put it down just like on the shelf like the, this thing right here. This thing right here. Alright, next. Okay guys, this is called the off-roading off the bike. This would suck because it looks like he's about to fly a bajillion miles down on his face, sliding down the hill or mountain or whatever this is. The caption says, this poor soul took off-road, bike riding a little too seriously. At least he's wearing a helmet. Safety first. Yeah, I don't think, I think his face is gonna be all damaged. Maybe his head is gonna be protected, but not his face. You see this thing right here? It needs to be glorious. Oh, the epic coffee spill and this has happened to me on white pants do not buy white pants warning do not buy white pants do not buy white pants this is why don't get us wrong we love a good cup of joe in the morning just not our pants thank goodness fox and friends correspondent and former comcast force host jillian meal has an extra skirt at the office yeah that's good that she has at least a skirt because imagine she had to sit on underwear or in that but you know, now that I think it looks like diarrhea, she just probably, probably blamed it on the coffee. Oh yeah, it was the coffee, not my tummy ache. Nope. All right, let's go to the next one. This is pretty bad. This is an eight for me. The bad dog. Coming home to this puppy pillow fight would be rough. I think it is pretty clear who won. Puppy one, pillow, zero. OMG. I, I can't, I don't, I don't even have words right now. This is a bad doggy. Spanking for you, doggy. Cuteness, 10. <laughs> but the mess, oh my gosh. Okay, it's a seven for me. This is ridiculous. 
<laughs> the champagne shower. It looks like it fucking broke the bottle. She broke the bottle the night. <gasps> Oh my god, it looks like Four Seasons wine director Emily Walker was a little too excited for her glass of bubbly. Instead of a glass, she opted for a full on champagne shower. This would totally suck because it happened on live TV. OMG, I would be so embarrassed thinking this is why I don't like doing live stream. I'm too scared that something so embarrassing will happen and I will never get the end of it ever. This is probably a 8 for me. On to the next. This one's the I knew I forgot something. Holy shit. This, oh my god. This looks like a Kindle. But could you imagine if this was a tablet or an iPad? Lord almighty, I would get a heart attack. I'm not even gonna read the caption. This sucks. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is terrible. My phone, anything that's electronic that's really expensive, I cannot afford to leave it on top of my car. My coffee cup, whatever. My food, whatever. But this ain't happening. 10. Oh my lord, this would totally suck if this was me, the audit control mess. Oh my goodness. If this was my office right now, I would probably burn everything and be like, what, what financial stuff, what accounting stuff, like what? This is terrible, this is a, I hate paperwork stuff. It's like a 9, 10 for me. This is miserable, no. Now, the never ending load of laundry. When it rains, it pours, thanks to Mother Nature, for teaching us that patience is a virtue and laundry takes forever. Thank you, Mother Nature, because I just hung it for it to dry, but no, you had to, had to, rain. Bro. This is the pet with a catitude. This will totally suck because there are toothbrushes in the toilet, brushes in the kitty, kitty litter. I don't know, kitty. I don't know what you're trying to brush. I don't I know you're trying to be helpful and trying to scrub that toilet for me. You're so sweet, kitty. And you're in the cuteness level, this is a 10. I love cats. Man, oh my. But the kitty litter, really? Really? Ugh, this isn't too bad. This is a seven. <laughs> this will totally suck if this was me, the zebra family. I don't know. Okay, the last kid, I don't know why you're even there. It's not that bad, okay? But the first one, two, third one's okay. Fourth one's not too bad, but the first one! How did that even happen? Can somebody tell me what the f happened even here? I don't understand. Okay, this is a 10, you guys. This is miserable, especially the first one. I cannot even. Oh, no, 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 no. No. This one is a no for me. The counterfeit. It's remarkable what teenagers will do to get their hands on the latest and greatest. We can only imagine the heartache this kiddo felt when he discovered that his precious Xbox red box rental was really the classic game of Monopoly. Who would do that? That's not even fair. I hope the person who did that got punished. Oh, this is a 10. It would piss me off if I was going to get a rental of my game and then it was just a fake i would be so pissed especially because i spent money on it oh no 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 oh that makes me so mad this is a 10 no doubt o m g the sticky situation if you thought you were having an off day it's probably nothing compared to these two rookie off-roaders at least they got a full mug bath treatment on their way out yeah, no, I think they're stuck in there and they're gonna die. This is not a good situation. This is terrible. This is worse than my day. This wins out of everything I've seen today. I could not imagine this happening. This would be worse than my tablet. I cannot even. I can't even. This is a 10. This is terrible. I am so glad I'm not in that situation. This is why I watch videos like this. Or this is why I look at pictures like this. Because it makes my day so much better. Oh my gosh. That sucks. It's a broken lock. <laughs> What's the point of it even? I don't understand how that would even happen. Did somebody cut it? Oh, I hate this. This is like a six or seven for me. It's not the worst. So far, the car was the worst. So let's hope this would never happen to me because it already sucks that you can't even open one of these combination locks, but having never to be able to close it kind of sucks because then everyone can just access your stuff. Oh, I don't know where to the next. 
Yeah, so it looks like Summit is really addicted to Rubik's Cubes and is obviously really good or not good. I don't understand. Warning, this is what happens when you attempt to create a Rubik's Cube mural. It turns into a Tetris. Oh, I can see this. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna be able to do it. That's why it's called the game gone wrong. Well, the mess is terrible, but I'll just throw everything away. So it's a six for me, not too bad. I just kind of getting OCD just looking at this mess, terrible. The ticket takeover, oh my god, could you imagine waking up one morning just going to work or school or wherever you have to go and you have all these tickets on your car? Then again, you must have been sitting in your house like months like a caveman and not coming out of your cave for this to happen. Let's see what the caption says. It says, we can relate to one or two parking tickets, but a hundred. Speaking of hundreds, we're not 100% positive this is a valid picture, but if it is, that is one unlucky person or one amazing April Fool's joke. Please let it be an April Fool's joke. Could you imagine all these tickets? Why can't you just move your car? This is bad. This is really bad. Maybe even worse than dying in the water. I don't know. The spell check error. Of course, I've seen so many of these and tell me in the comments if you guys want to see a video where I've seen so many people get tattoos misspelled and they tattoo them permanently you guys tattoos are permanent I mean there's there's non-permanent tattoos but those are permanent why are you trying to spell breath and if you are you're spelling breath wrong and if you're trying to spell breathe that's not how you spell breathe honestly oh this is so just bad and the tattoo itself is bad I don't know who you paid I don't know if you paid your six-year-old sister or your five-year-old brother to do this or your ten-year-old brother I don't know who you paid to do this, but this is bad. No, Willis. No. This is a seven. Your oh, ship. Oh my god. This would be a nightmare. Whoever did this probably can't even breathe right now or whenever this happened because it is so awful. If you've done this, can you let me know in the comments how you felt when this happened to you? Because I'm just sitting here and thinking, oh my god. Like, this is a ship that came with so many containers for trucks to take out. But no. All that product. Who knows what's inside those containers? It could be millions and billions of dollars worth of stuff. Oh my god. Like, this is just so bad. This is pretty bad. This is a 10 for sure. I don't think it's the worst than getting killed and being stuck in the mud and drowning in a jeep, but this is really bad. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if my glasses just broke in half like that? I want to be able to see a lot of things, mostly words and details, but, but it, seriously, this guy or girl must have just gone blind because their glasses... Could you imagine, okay, I wear my glasses because I need to be able to read and be able to sit behind a screen. But could you imagine a person who needs their glasses for their everyday life? OMG, they would be blind. Like imagine you're doing a job that requires your glasses. Any job that requires you having your glasses on because you really need to see any job. It would suck. It would just suck if my glasses broke. It would hurt a lot. Next, this is avocado no, because this is not how, this happens a lot to my avocados. Whenever I'm trying to make guacamole, this shit happens to me all the time. Oh yeah, it makes me so mad because I go to the store and I pay so much money and avocados, like when it's avocado season, they're expensive. They're expensive, they cost dollars. And no, this is crazy. Like when they go brown and disgusting, they smell like soap. No, this is bad. This is like an eight for me. No can do, no can do, sir. Well, anyway, that was the 31 of the worst p things that are happening to people. I think out of those, probably five were the worst for me. And those people who had worse days, days than me, I am so sorry and thank you so much because you make me feel a lot better about the bad days that I have. Um, but that was just. A little crazy and some of them were like what it's not too bad like maybe to some other people would be but to me it wasn't too bad if you guys want to see another video like this or another uh, me reaction of me watching people having bad days 
then let me know in the comments below and I will do that because this was just pictures and it's even more worse when you see stuff lively happening like when there's a video footage of something horribly gone wrong I would love to see that and if you guys want to see my reaction please let me know in the comments below but that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like button if you haven't already subscribe to my channel that way gives you more of me and if you have any comments or suggestions for other videos or games you'd like to see me play make sure to let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye for now